we are setting up the aquarium for the trout in the classroom program. The first thing that you need to do is put the undergravel filter in the bottom of the aquarium. It is also recommended that a mosquito netting or some type of screen to lay over the under gravel filter will help protect um, the eggs from falling through the cracks. Hi. Hello, are you Ken Harris? I am. You must be Megan Brown. Yes, Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, now it's time to install the pump inside of the plastic pipe. Make sure that you get your suction cups on the tank so it holds it in place. Like that. Make sure that your, your aerator hose is on the outside of your tank, not the inside, like this. It's a good idea to check and see, make sure it's going to work before we get everything started. When we put the chiller in, we found out that we had to, to, uh, to tweak it a certain way because it had to be turned around so that you could get the, the bar to go in there straight without, without uh, bending the hose. And this is the way we had to do it. Okay. I'm going to tape the aerator hose to the outside of the tank so it won't move and there's no chance of it getting into the water and stop working. So you tape it up right outside like this and check this periodically like that. Okay, okay now we're going to put in the base, the, the base gravel, the small gravel. is the And I like the way they have the, the mesh down there is this. This is about all you're going to need. I think so you don't need. You don't want any more than this. Move it all out. This. Okay, like so. You don't want any more than that in there because the, it has to area up the Okay, you want the big rocks in the front spaced close to each other, so that when the eggs go down, the eggs will be down in here, in, 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 in between. Thank you. There. There. And now maybe some smaller ones. Let me put in like this. Behind them. Like this, so that the eggs can actually get down between the small rocks and the large rocks. So, you know, when you drop the eggs in, they're gonna, you're going to drop them in right down here, so if they'll drop down in between these rocks right there. That's basically all you want right there. Okay, whenever you start to fill your, your tank up with water, you're going to be pouring it into one end, and it's going to push these rocks around that you've already put in, these little, pe these little pebbles. Just leave them, leave them pushed out until you get through putting the water in, and then you can either use your hand or you can use a ruler or some something that you can push the pebbles back into place. Stuff in here. So come over this way and do it. And try to put it in one corner so you're not knocking all your all your pebbles out of there. So I have my kids do all this. You change the water once they once the fish have hatched. And they start pulling around everything. I do it once a week then. But once they once they you start feeding them, they get bigger twice a week. Now that's on my big tank. You can look at the water until it starts getting dirty. You don't want dirty water. That's one thing trout will not tolerate. So you have to change it as quickly as you see it starting to get dirty. <laughs> Yeah, you're the guy who ran out of food, huh? Yep. It's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now let's see if that you want to look for every day you come. Okay, you want to make sure that's going. There goes your your chiller going there. Yes. 
It'll shut off though. When it gets to the temperature you want it, it'll shut off. So but it's gonna be that loud. I'll, 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 I'll run. So come over here and take a look at this. George. Right here you have set. You want to push the set button and that's Fahrenheit. You want Fahrenheit. Okay, and you can put this button up here, up or down, for Celsius or back to Fahrenheit. Once you do it like that, it's on 50 back there, and that's where you want it. You want it on 50. I have found that if you go lower than that, your eggs won't hatch as quick. And they'll, your, your child will take much longer to try to go hatch. So keep it at least at 50. Okay? And you're set. That's all there is to it. You just reach down into your tank, back over like they were. the effect in here. Like that, and that's basically all you've done. Now when you put the eggs in, be sure that you, when you pour them in, you pour them in so they go down right here. You don't want them all over the place because they, you want to mimic their natural habitat where they're really low, they lay them in rocks like that. And they'll be down inside here and the kids can see them. You can actually turn this over here by hand. If, it, if you don't want to come in over here and you want to come over that way more, you can hold that and turn it. It'll go. Like that. Okay? Wait some more back over there. Everything looks good. You don't have to worry about changing anything, really, any water, until you start feeding them. And they start getting the water tank, and they start eating it. And once they lose their yolk sac, they'll start eating it. You don't feed them until then. Okay? You know all that, though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And this is what you use to take the trout, the eggs out of the tank. Okay. So if you see any, whenever they first deliver them, take a look at the eggs and look in the bag. And if you see any that's, that's, that's different than the others, like really white, you don't want to put them in. Just take them out and watch for your eggs. And uh, it shouldn't be but about a week and a half, two weeks till they start hatching. Really? Yeah, that's pretty quick. Can you go over how to change the water? Okay, there's several ways to do it. You can get you a little, little uh, pitcher, a little small bucket or something, and just dip the water out into a bucket of water and dump it in the sink. And when you put it in, you put it exactly where it is good. Just pour it back in. No, no, no. So you only do stay in there. Yeah, I, what I do is I change it to about half. I don't take out any more than that. Okay. Now, when it starts getting really dirty, this is when you want to use this that suction right there. And you go through this, put it down into the, actually put it down into the, 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 the gravel and move it around like that. And you'll see all that stuff be coming up out of there. Mm -hmm. You want to clean that. Because if you don't, all that stuff will just go down and stay in the, in, in, in the gravel. All you're cleaning is this up here is all you're cleaning. So it's so important. You do this twice a week? Yep. But that's after once that's once after they hatch and I start feeding them. Okay. okay, and they start growing. Then you want to do something like that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do this part oh maybe I don't know, maybe once every two weeks or so. But clean the water at least twice a week. Once they're they're big. Once they've grown. And I found that works good. And the reason I'm saying this because when Mickey was doing this, we would talk about what other teachers were doing as far as cleaning their tank, and the ones that weren't cleaning them very good or enough, uh, their fish weren't that, doing that well, or they didn't get that big. Mm -hmm. So the more, the better, more you clean them, keep them clean, the better they're going to do. So change the water twice a week and do this through the gravel once every, every two week. weeks. Every two weeks. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It all depends on how dirty